So, Jordan, playoffs confirmed, finally. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now? I must be mad. Yeah, I'm buzzing, man. Um, lads putting a lot of work. Mm. Putting a lot of work to do to get to this point. Um, I think we deserve it, man. We deserve it. Absolutely, yeah. And so obviously, two goals for you tonight. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, like, coming late, um, clutch goals, I think. <laughs> That's the only best way to describe it. Um, sort of in the lead-up to both those goals, because they're, they're kind of similar. You know, in a way, you're sort of cutting and then obviously, like, taking a shot yeah. from quite far out, which you've seen you do quite a lot this season, to be fair. Yeah. What's your, like, in your mindset to, to shoot, you know, it, especially considering we were 1-0 down at one point, what, what, what did you think of when you were, like, going to shoot? Were you just aiming to the score or just trying to get it in there and just... Yeah, well, um, well, I think money. Was, it was money who gave me the ball for both of them. Uh, just cutting, just you're trying to hit the target. It's mm. just routine. Like, I, like you go, I go, I like, I, try, I practice that shot a lot, cutting and just trying to hit. It, so, um, it's come, it come. It's, you know, I got lucky with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely. I mean, obviously, you know, great time to score. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it reminds me of the Guernsey game. Uh, you know, couple, obviously two weeks ago, whenever it was. Um. You know, it's obviously difficult when the team's obviously maybe not performing at its best. Yeah. Um, obviously, then having to, not to say like not put it on his shoulders, but like obviously to then take the initiative to to just try things. Yeah. So yeah, obviously, yeah. like that, you know, was that, you know, was that difficult, or did you just think like, you know, I, I just I just want to just score. I want to help drag the team well, back nah, into this game. I think um, the management helped me so much, give me so mm. much confidence. Um, <clears throat> sales gives me like a lot of um confidence going into games, you know, Pitts, Mick, Pauli, um, and they just let me express myself. So that, it just comes natural when I'm playing. Um, I've been at other teams where, like, maybe it's not coming as natural, but now, like, I feel like mm. when you've got the gaffer pushing behind you, I know he's going to support me no matter what, so he just lets me express myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and sort of, we can hark it back, maybe take it outside of the game, obviously, you know, it can be tricky, obviously, moving clubs sometimes, obviously, yeah. you know, obviously you were at Thatcher earlier on in the season, everybody knows that, isn't it? So it's not un unknown, but obviously... Yeah. When you sort of come into a team like this, and obviously you came part way through the season, so obviously you didn't know all the boys as yeah, much. Yeah. And some boys had come up, stayed on from last season. Mm. You know, I think about you know uh, Luke and obviously um, Crosler and stuff like that. Mm. Did you feel like you kind of just melded into that straight away? You melded into sort of the ethos of the club because it's got a family feel here. Yeah, yeah. Really? I think it took me a while to get like proper used to it, but it helped. I had Sonny here, so I'm really close to Sonny. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think it took the whole team like a while for all of us to get like a good chemistry mm. but I think that this comes with time yeah. um, and just bonding you know everyone's in the ch um, up in the clubhouse after the games we're all bonding we've got great chemistry um, and I think that helps a lot on the pitch it shows mm. when in the changing room you lot are together as a team it helps so much when you get out on the pitch because you're willing to work harder for each other yeah, absolutely and uh, you know as I say playoffs confirmed tonight obviously it's great it's great to have like a, a, a bit of a, a game where obviously there's a bit of a buffer and obviously you know mm confirming it before the last game of the season because that's when the nerves can really get to you. Yeah. Did you think like maybe tonight, knowing that maybe a draw or maybe a, or definitely a win would confirm our place in the playoffs, do you think the nerves sort of set in for, for, for most of the players, you know, including yourself, and that's what kind of maybe meant that the performance maybe wasn't up to the usual notch that, that we usually do? Because you think about performances recently, you know, our game against Badger Lee, you know, we, yeah. we were really, really good, um, at least I thought. So do you think nerves had a part to play in it or do you think it was just maybe one of those off days that, you know, sort of every team has now and again? Yeah, I just think sometimes like going into some games is going to be hard. Obviously, we've um, we've played a lot of games and, you know, to carry on the win streak is hard. Um, but yeah, the lads were solid. We try not to like uh, play to the occasion, as Quincy says. Yeah. We just try and like keep it a bit humble going to, like now we're just focusing on the next game. It doesn't matter about playoffs. We just mm. take game by game. And I think that helps a lot. That's what Sol says. So. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, you know, and uh, sort of the last sort of thing is, you know, how how influential has the gaffer been? Because obviously, you know, I've, I've you know, you see other managers and how they adapt to, to the mm. game. Obviously, said so you, you know, you've dealt with one earlier on the season. Obviously, being at a different team, do you think that his man management and sort of stuff like that? You know, obviously, we have a tight knit group of players. Yeah. We don't have like a massive, massive squad. I mean, that's mostly down to kind of the budget as well. But yeah. like, um, do you think that really helps in terms of you know, you know, the morale being high and then therefore getting performances on the pitch do you think that yeah really well helps? i think if you if you've got a gaffer that respects you and you respect them a lot then you're just willing to work harder for each other do you know what i mean so yeah. i yeah. think that's like the case for a lot of the players in the team everyone gets along with the gaffer all the management really Pauli, mick uh pits and obviously sales um and i think they take a lot of time you know to mm -hmm. have good relationships with each like with all of us so it just shows on the pitch everyone's willing to work a bit harder you know put that bit bit more in but then yeah Absolutely. Well, congratulations, mate. Obviously, great performance. Cheers, mate. Well done, mate. Thank Cheers. you, mate. Thank you.